Hello and welcome back. In today's video, let's have a quick look on how we can restore low contrast flat images. With a couple of simple to follow adjustments, we can convert this low contrast image into this amazing end result. I will share one common method followed by another method I use myself which creates a more vibrant result. Let's go. First, I will remove the adjustments from the layers panel and we're left with the original image. If we look closely to the histogram, you can see that there is no information in the shadows and the highlights, which is typical for a low contrast image. So the first common method is using a levels adjustment to bring back the information into the shadows and the highlights. The idea is to move the black and the white points to the beginning of the curve. We will do this for the master channel, but also for the color channels. While dragging the slider, you can press the ALT key or the OPTION key to get a preview of the affected pixels. We will need to stop just about when we see changes in the preview. Let me repeat the same steps for the color channels, starting with the red channel. I have the option key pressed and just at the place where the red pixels start to show up, I will stop for the black level. Similar for the white level. Let me apply the same for the green and the blue. Let's have a look. That looks much better. Here's a tip that not much people know. To get a bit more color back to the image, I'm going to duplicate the levels adjustment and then change his blend mode to color. Have a look at that. That was pretty awesome. I will group these two adjustments and hide them so I can show you the second method. I haven't seen anyone else doing this, but it just creates amazing results. Let's have a look. The first thing I like to do is to remove the color cast as most low contrast images are the results of some kind of a filter which also adds a color tint to the image. To do that, I will use a fill layer with the divide blend mode. After I add the fill layer, I'm going to temporarily hide it so I can select the color from the image. You should select the color from an area that you think should be white. Now that I have a color for the fill layer, I will enable it and set its blend mode to divide. Excellent, this cleared most of the color cost. But I can still modify the color to get a better result. Once I'm happy with the color cost removal, I'm going to duplicate this fill layer. The trick here now is to change the blend mode of the duplicated layer to color burn. This brings back the color. To finish up, I'm going to add two curves adjustments. The first curves adjustment layer will need to have the luminosity blend mode and we will need to lower the highlights with about a quarter. Let's add the second curves adjustment. And as you immediately see from the curve, the highlights have no values. And we will fix that by moving the right top handle to the end of the curve. That looks much better. Sometimes, just like in this example, you will need to do some fine tuning to make it look more natural. In this case, I can slightly adjust the color of the fill layers. Also, I can fine tune the opacity of these four layers to get a perfect result. Let's have a look at the before and the after. Pretty awesome. Here is another image of the same model. Let me hide the original layer and have a look at that. That's cool, right? Let's have a quick look at the adjustments I have applied. Exactly the same adjustments as I explained before. I have the two fill layers and on top of that the two curves adjustments. When applied, they create an awesome end result. For the sake of demonstration, let me quickly fix this image using the levels method. As explained before, I will update the master and the color channels 
and with the help of the option key pressed, I can quickly determine where to stop with the sliders. Let's then duplicate it and apply it in color blend mode. Awesome! I can quickly hide these three layers so we can compare it with the fill curves method. As you notice, my fill curves method generates a more colorful result. This is also exactly the reason why I like this method, as it gives more creative control on the end result. Let's have a look at another example. This is the end result, and let's have a look at the starting image. Amazing, right? If I open up the adjustments, you can see I use the fill curves method. Repetition makes perfect, they say, so let's go through the steps again. First, the fill layer, and we select a color we want to neutralize. Set the blend mode to divide and fine tune if needed. Let's then duplicate this fill layer and set the blend mode to color burn. This already creates a perfect result. And probably we don't need the curves layer. But let me show it again for completeness. I will add the first curves adjustment and lower the highlights by around a quarter. Let's also not forget to set the blend mode of it to luminosity. Lowering the highlights with a quarter is just a value that works most of the time. You can adjust the curve as you see fit, depending on how much color and brightness you want. I will go for a minor adjustment as the image already looked great. The same with the second curves adjustment. A tiny bit of an adjustment and we can lower the opacities to get a more natural look. Just perfect. Here is another quick example. Let's enable the four layers to see the end result. Not bad at all. If you're wondering how to create a low contrast image yourself, here is how. I will switch to another example image. Remember what I said in the beginning of the video? That a low contrast image has no information in the shadows and the highlights. So, to create a low contrast image, we need to remove the information from the shadows and the highlights. We can do this by adding a curves layer and moving up the shadows and lowering the highlights. Basically, we made the shadows brighter and the highlights darker, resulting in this low contrast flat image. To get a bit of a color cast, we can play with the color channels. In this case, I will use the blue channel. Awesome, that was pretty easy, right? The question now is, can we restore this back with the two methods I explained earlier? Let's try. I will first apply a merge visible, so we have rendered a low contrast image, which I can use as a base. Now, let me quickly apply the fill curves method in super speed. I wish I was this fast all the time. Anyway, let's compare. I will hide all the layers so we can see our original image. That is awesome. The restored image looks almost the same as the original. It's a bit more vibrant, but very, very close. I could have fixed that by lowering the opacities of the curves layer, but you get the idea. I hope you liked this video and found it useful. Thank you for watching and don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Keep safe and until the next video.